hello friends please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified for new videos hello friends welcome back to my channel so as in my previous video we have learned how we can uh, configure or download the credential.json file and uh, how we can install the module so in this video we are going to implement all the things so for this i need to open my pycharm so i am opening it where it is here and let's see this is my latest edition and uh, yes it's open so i am going to create new project and name it as trans sorry translator like this and i'll select this python 3 and that's it and hit on create <coughs> so so it is creating virtual environment so let's see so our project is created now first step will be we need to install google sorry google cloud translate module so we can do by two ways by pip command so to open that command line control tab and press t so this is the terminal you can do by this way and hit enter and the another way you just need to go to file settings and uh, project interpreter then you have to click on this add button and here you just need to search for the module so here it is click on it and just hit on install package so see how much time it will take it will not take much time so it's installed now we are going to create a script so I'm naming it as main and hit enter and yes the script is created now what we are going to do so we are going to just copy and paste this code so I have pasted here and we are not getting any error so module is working fine now we need to have the uh, path of that file or uh, our credential file so I am going to download as I told you in my previous video I have already downloaded it so what is happening why it is yes so downloads and here it is so I am going to copy it and pasting it here so paste and naming it as key because in environment variable we have key I'll show you once again so uh, okay from here my PC properties advanced system setting environment variable and this is the path so C user so we can do again like this just go here copy path and just paste it here so this is the same so just cancel it cancel it and run it right click on the script and run let's see whether we are getting any error or not so yes we are not getting any error so in this code we have imported google cloud and google cloud we have imported translate so for translate we need client so we have getting the client object and here this is the text which we are going to convert into target ru language which is russian language and then we need a translate method from client so we have used client object and then we have client function where we have given two parameters first is text and other one is target language in which we are going to convert the text so below of that we have printed the translated text here so to modify this code let's see some modification and let's see what we will have so I'm creating def translate function and giving parameter as text 
and target and just cut it from here and paste it here and now just move it and create main and put it here so now I am removing it and and uh, we need to return something return translation like this and now we will have translated string and that will be here now we will going to pass text and target sorry text and target like this you can do in two ways like this one and 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 and, and i'll show you how and so i'm going to comment it paste it again and uh, you can swap both the parameters also so but you need to use the parameter name so text sorry we are going to use target so target and target value then text parameter and text as value so this will also work fine now I am going to print this translated object and let's see what we will have so yes we are getting a dictionary where we have translated text as a key and the translated value detected language which we have given as English as we have here hello text and the input value was the hello world so we can just have translated text or if we can have detected source language or we want to have the input value so let me just tell you how we can print all these values also and I'm going to use for loop for key value in translated dot items and then we will have key and uh, I'll give it as So like this let's run it and yes we have translated text as this detected language as en and input value hello world so you can manipulate your code and the format of getting the output now let's see how much languages Google supports so for that we have uh, we need client object so languages equals to dot languages detect languages and get languages so sorry now print this languages dot sorry not like this we will use lan and then languages print it yes it supports 104 languages and if you want to print the languages so let's see here I'm printing Google supports and here also I'll print languages and then again we will print the languages list and run it so yes Google supports 104 languages and this is the list of dictionary so we have language and name so let's now again we will use this for loop and we just need to replace this and remove this because we have dictionaries so 
language like this we need to use and again we need to use for because in language we will have the dictionary so uh, for key value in language dot items and then print a key and sorry and value now run it again so yes we got all the languages and their names and code so okay now we will going to uh, translate in some other language so we will use ca and let's see what it will give so here i'm running it and go to upside and translated text is hola mon if i'll try to speak in english and the right language is english so okay so i'm going to copy it and paste it into text and now i am going to convert it into english let's see what i am doing vice versa so what we will have so yes so translated text is hello world and detective language is ca which i have given earlier into the target so yes like this you can have all the required things related to translation or google translation api so friends that's it for this video i hope you like all my efforts if yes please hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you for watching jai hind